Hi, my name's Bob. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Particle Shop with a photograph. I already have my photo up on the screen. I have my Paint Shop Pro 2018 set to edit. I am going to duplicate my image. It's a habit that I started a long time ago. This way, if I make a mistake, I still have the original. I'm going to shut off the original, and I'm just going to work with the copy. I am going to go get my... Uh, smart selection brush and I'm just going to trace over my son now to add to the smart selection brush you can hold down the shift key and it bring it brings it out and to if you went overboard and you went too far you can hold down the control key like I did here and it will bring it back in. There's also a different way you can tweak this brush and I'll show you in a minute. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna show you how I tweak it. I'm gonna to go to selections. I'm gonna to go to edit selections. Now I have a, a mask up. I'm going to Make sure my foreground is white. I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to make sure it's a soft brush. I'm going to set it to low. And now I can just go over the edges that I missed here. You can do this with the uh, selection brush, but I, I have more control this way. Here, I'm showing you how to get to the edges and I'm using my mouse. I won't use my whacking pads when I do tutorials. So I just find the areas that I want. If you go overboard like this, you just switch it to black and it takes away. You go back to white. Find the spots that you miss with the brush. It doesn't have to be exact because we're just having fun here. But you can get really small details when you do it this way. That's the nice thing about Corel Paint Shop Pro 2018. They enhanced all the tools to work better for you. Now I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. I do that by holding the Alt key and moving my mouse up and down. I'm going to change my foreground to black and I'm just going to cut out some of this stuff here. So I'm going to have I'll take it away there, and in a minute, we'll go to Particle Shop and add a little bit of magic to it. And I'm going to go back to white, go over the spots that I missed, but I'm not going to be too accurate. This piece. Like I said, this is just a tutorial. I'm going to go back up to Selections. I'm going to go edit selections, back up the selections, and I'm going to promote it to a layer. Now, I have my image promoted to a layer. Selection, select none. I'm going to duplicate my layer, and now I'm going to go into effects, plugins, painter, and particle shop. And this is where the fun begins. I'm going to pick a blue, and I'm just... Make my brush a little bigger. Just have some fun with it. In fact, I'm just going to change my brush and I'm going to use this one. I kind of like how this goes. It's a fancy design. Maybe add a little bit of this going across this way. Doesn't matter. Again, when you save, save only brush strokes this way it's on its own layer now you can take your eraser tool and you can go over the spot you want to erase off the image keep a couple here it looks like it's going through his legs i just hit uh control and z to go back a step when i make a mistake Kind of like that. I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to do 
duplicate uh, Noah's layer again. I'm going to go back into uh, Particle Shop and let's see if I can add something different here. Let's see what this does. I'm going to push the glow button and it makes it a little, gives it a nice little glow. Let's try this one. No, let's try this one. You just keep playing with the. Okay, I like that one. So I want to use this one as kind of a base at the bottom. Save again, save only brush strokes. Click that. I'm going to put this one underneath everything. I'm going to get uh, my eraser tool. I'm going to erase some of this. Now, I'm going to go back down to the copy picture, and I'm going to go to adjust, blur, Gaussian blur, I want to bring it up so I can just see the background a bit. I kind of like that. I'm going to take this one and turn down the opacity a little bit. And now I'm going to add a layer above that. I'm going to get out my black and my paintbrush. And I'm just going to paint this, make the brush a little bigger. I'm just going to Make the uh, arms of that it's just the way the arms should be. And I'm going back to adjust, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to turn it down a bit. And well, there you go. It's uh, Particle Shop. It, it, you can buy Particle Shop brushes, they're not that expensive. These are the Particle Shop brushes that come with it. It kind of makes them look like floating. It's a fun little project, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.